What's this? A letter for me. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Through the Mail Thursdays. Today I'm going to share with you three recently returned envelopes that I got back in the mail. And the first one is postmarked from Fort Myers, Florida. And it is from former NFL slash North Carolina great John Bunting on one, two, three, and four. Four different cards. And as you can see from these are my vintage football cards that I recently uh, sent out, but also this North Carolina Legends card. And I happen to have this North Carolina set, so I decided to pull it out of there and send it to Mr. Bunting. So let me tell you about Bunting's college and pro football career. So to start out with, I think Bunting's last name would be more appropriate for a baseball player, but, you know, why not? Um, Bunting grew up in Maryland, and he attended the University of North Carolina from 1969 to 71, playing for Coach Bill Dooley. In 1971, Bunting earned all Atlantic Coast or ACC Conference honors and helped lead the Tar Heels to their first outright ACC title. He signed with the Philadelphia Eagles in 1972, and he immediately became a contributor to their team at the linebacker core. He spent his entire NFL career from 1972 to 82 with the Philadelphia Eagles. He appeared in 132 games throughout his entire career. As I mentioned, he was an immediate contributor his first season as a starter. However, in 1978, he only appeared in six games due to an injury. By 1981 and 82, he wasn't a starter full-time. He only started in nine games. And the after his playing career as a Philadelphia Eagle, he actually moved on to the USFL team, the Philadelphia Stars, which would eventually, uh, he would play two seasons with them, and they would then relocate to Baltimore and become the Baltimore Stars, where he would get into coaching, and this would be his first coaching job in football. Well, after his one season in 1985 as the linebackers coach for the Stars, he would go to Brown University and become the defensive coach for that team. After one season at Brown from 1987, he would go to Glassboro State or Rowan University, which is what it's called now, and one season would uh, spend time as a defensive coach, but would become the head coach from 1988 to 92. Well, after 1992, Bunting decided to return to the NFL and became a coach with the Kansas City Chiefs for a couple seasons, then the St. Louis Rams for, through 1997 to 99, and then in 2000 would be the linebackers coach for the New Orleans Saints. Well, after the 2000 season with the New Orleans Saints, he would be offered the head coaching job with the University of North Carolina. From 2001 to 2006, Bunting was the head coach of the Tar Heels. He was let go after the 2006 season, and after his coaching career, he would spend time uh, with North Carolina doing games, you know, as a broadcaster and commentator. So, very cool that this individual was a player for the University of North Carolina, then later would become their head football coach for, you know, the five-year period there. So, very happy to add Mr. Bunting to the collection. All right, this next one, also a postmark from Florida, is a return from one of the best, Miami Dolphins, and that is wide receiver Nat Moore on one, two, which I believe that might be his last card right there, three, and a quad card of the 78 Dolphins, or 77 Dolphins, I should say, signed 404. So let me tell you about Nathaniel Moore and his career in the NFL. Born in Tallahassee, Florida, he grew up in Miami and attended high school in Miami and also Miami-Dade Community College. Well, he started his real football career playing for the University of Tennessee at Martin and then transferred to the University of Florida in 1972 and 73. As a junior in 72, Moore led the Gators with 145 rushes 
for 845 yards, 9 rushing touchdowns, and 25 receptions. And he would get all SEC first team accolades along with honorable mention for All-American. Moore was chosen by the Miami Dolphins, his hometown, in the third round of the 1974 draft. Immediately, in 1974, he would become a wide receiver for the Dolphins. And from 1974 all the way through 1986, he would be part of the Miami Dolphins wide receiving core. He made one Pro Bowl in 1977, after which he made 52 receptions and 12 receiving touchdowns that year. He also had one rushing touchdown as well that year. By the time Moore retired at the end of the 86 season, his 13th with the Dolphins, he had broken almost every receiving record of the Dolphins at that time. Of course, his records would be later broken by Mark Clayton and Mark Super Duper. His final career receiving stats were 510 catches for 7,547 yards and 74 touchdowns. He also rushed for 249 yards and a touchdown, returned 27 punt returns for 297 yards, and gained 856 yard returns on kickoff returns. So this was definitely one of those guys that uh, was kind of a multi-tooled athlete. You know, obviously he started out as a running back. They utilized him more as a wide receiver, but he also did punt returns and kickoff returns and was very successful. It also says that he was a favorite of both quarterbacks Bob Greasy and Dan Marino throughout their passing careers, which, you know, both of those guys are Hall of Fame Miami Dolphin players. Some of his accolades include being part of the Miami Dolphins honor roll, which he received in 1999. While he was still a player, he actually was the NFL Man of the Year for his philanthropy work throughout the Miami area. After his playing career, he became a broadcaster with his alma mater, the University of Florida Gators, uh, doing broadcasting and announcing or Gator games on Sun Sports until 2011. I don't know if he's still in this role, but he also served as vice president of the Miami Dolphins of their Alumni Association. And he also served as an executive director of the NFL Super Bowl football clinic, which is that football clinic that always goes on during the Super Bowl that you probably have seen on TV. So, very, very happy to add Nat Moore to my collection. I had never gotten him before. This guy, you know, if you have vintage football cards, basically from this set, which is an 87, I believe, from 87 down, he has a card out there. And... You know, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to find. So I would recommend if you're a big Miami Dolphins fan, definitely look at Nat Moore and maybe get in his autograph. All right, so this final one is postmarked from Denver, Colorado. And it is former All-Pro Safety, Billy Thompson, or Bill Thompson, on one, two, three, a record breaker card, and my most favorite one to get back, a 1977 Defensive Offensive Leaders card signed by Thompson. But I also had Haven Moses sign the card as well. I'm not really sure about the other two guys on there, but I'm definitely happy to get those two. Actually, I have gotten Rick Upchurch before in the past, so I know he has used to sign. I'm just not sure about Otis Armstrong. So Bill Thompson, born in South Carolina, attended Merwood State College which is also known as Eastern Shore, University of Maryland Eastern Shore. He was drafted in the third round by the Denver Broncos in the 1969 draft as a defensive back. Immediately became a mainstay in the 1969 season with the Broncos in their backfield. And from 1969 to 1981, he would remain as the safety of the Denver Broncos. He would be a three-time Pro Bowler in 1977, 78, and 1981, his final season. And he would also set Denver Broncos along with NFL records throughout his career. One of those NFL records is recording four fumble recoveries returned for touchdowns throughout his career. Which, that is that card right there. He still holds the club record for interception return yards, which is pretty amazing. Uh, that that record is still held up to this day. 
He is 10th all-time on games played by Denver Bronco players. He was inducted into the Broncos Ring of Fame in 1987, shortly after his retirement, six years later. Overall, throughout his career, he had 40 interceptions in three of those that he returned four touchdowns. And as I mentioned, the fumble recoveries for touchdowns is still an NFL record, standing at four. And I'm very happy to add, you know, one of the great Denver Bronco greats to my collection. You know, I'm going to probably send this to Rick Upchurch because, again, I've gotten him in the past. Unfortunately, Mr. Thompson didn't give him a lot of room to write on. Uh, if Thompson would have signed it maybe over here, that would have gave him more for Rick to sign. But, you know, it is what it is. I think he was just following Haven Moses' lead there. So if I do, you know, get around to contacting Armstrong, hopefully he, you know, signs up there in that corner too, and we'll get this card completed. So very happy to add Mr. Thompson to the collection. Very cool to also get this one back from Nat Moore as well from that same set. You know, and Nat Moore is just an amazing player, you know, and a humanitarian, as his page says. So very happy to get those. Also very happy to get the former North Carolina Tar Heel great John Bunting back. And of course, his three pro cards as well. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I look forward to your comments below. And as always, happy collecting. Happy collecting.